Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. Today what we're going to be doing is changing the oil on the Honda CBF 1000 which is underneath me um, and also the oil filter. So what that's going to entail is just me running really quickly through how you remove the oil, how you remove the oil filter and how you refill the oil and put everything back on. Um, my bike does come with the lower fairing. I took it off earlier for another job I was doing. Um, so if you want to see how that goes back on, I'll show you at the end of the video. It's only six bolts, it's quite easy. Um, but it's also just a reverse of that for removing. And today I'll be filling Motul 7100 uh, 10W40 um, sports touring oil. So I think it's fully synthetic. It is 100% synthetic oil and it's a nice red color. So it's uh, it looks like blood from my bike. But anyway, if you have a CBF 1000 or if you just want to see how to change oil on it, stick around and uh, have a look at the video. So then... Oh. So then to drain your oil, what you want to do is, without burning yourself, um, there's a little bolt just, I don't know if you can see, right between all the pipes. So, just back there, there's a little, there's a bolt on the very base of the engine basically. And then this here is your uh, oil filter, so you need to remove that cap and that's where you fit in your new one. So I'm going to do that now. So now that that's out, I'm going to let that drain for a while. That was a, a 17 bolt up there. And I'm just going to open off this one. Which looks like an 8. And an 8 it is. So the big bolt uh, on the bottom was a 17. And these are 8. And just be careful because the engine's still hot. Let's try to catch the washer, so there is a washer on it, so try to catch that. Don't let that drop into the oil. Same again, just watch your washer. And that is the oil filter exposed. It's not too hot. I actually really like the fact there's a, a cover on the oil filter, to be honest. Don't worry about getting oil on your headers, you can clean that off later and it'll just burn off anyway. Then you want to get your new oil filter, put some oil into it and just fit that back on. Don't worry if you spill some of the oil. And you want to just tighten that down until it's tight, hand tight, and then just a little bit more. It's not really, you don't, you don't ever tighten that down a lot. And that's the oil filter back on. So once you have uh, your oil drained out, you wanna put a new copper washer onto your sump plug and refit it. Refitting's easy, just make sure you thread it in right. Uh, I like to put it in my fingers first, just to make sure it's catching everything the right way. And I'll tighten that all the way down pretty much with my fingers. Then I'll just pinch it at the end. If you have a torque wrench, you can set this to your torque, but I do not have one handy, so I won't. So as with all things on bikes and cars, you never want to over tighten the sump plug or anything like that because it's generally going into aluminium. So now what we're going to do is start filling the oil. So how you do that on the CBF 1000 is you want to open off this cap here and this is where you fill your oil, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to keep an eye on this sight glass down here, right here. And what we're going to do is fill that to the top fill line. So there's two, one second, let's see can I focus. There's two lines there. There's one right here. And there's one up here. But we're going to fill to that second line. And then we're going to start the engine and let it run for two to three minutes. The oil I'm using is Motul 7100 10W40. Um, I'm following manufacturer recommendations for the from the owner's manual for the temperature in Ireland. 
So this does vary obviously wherever you are. Now a good indication for if you've changed your um, oil filter and you've drained all your oil, uh, the CBFs take around about three liters after a filter change. One model 06 to 10, excuse me, 06 to 10 takes 3.5 after a filter change. But a good indication is just dump in about three, two to three, and then start checking your sight glass because no matter what you think is in there, this is your be all and end all. You must go off your sight glass. You can't just dump in three and a half exactly and assume you're okay. You gotta verify off down here. And one of the reasons I really love Motel is they give you this spout, which makes it really easy to pour in oil and you have your oil level check here. So I've about a liter gone in, so I'm just gonna keep filling. And as you're filling, you wanna just stop periodically and see where you're at. Um, it is quite slow to fill out of these bottles because, you know, it's chugging, so just take your time. So now you can see we're starting to get up there on the side glass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up to the top line and then start the engine. So now I'm not sure how well you can see that, but we're pretty much bang on the higher level mark. So what I'm gonna do now is start the bike and let it run for two to three minutes. And the reason you let the bike run um, is just letting all the oil get back up around the galleries and stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is try show you when I start this, that oil level is gonna drop as it pulls up around the engine. And we turn it off, you leave it settle, but it will not return to the exact same place. Now, you don't need to let the bike get up fully up to temperature or anything, just, just relatively good. So you'll see now, this will return to A level, but we won't see it come back to full, and then we'll have to top it up from there. So you just give it a few seconds to, to kind of um, settle, or a few minutes even. Because what we've done now is we've filled up our galleries, and we've filled up our oil filter again, because obviously that was fresh and open. And take this opportunity as well to check for any leaks. So. Um, my new oil colour is, is different, so I'll see them pretty, any leaks pretty easy. But in general, what you're looking for there is, you know, any oil on the ground or whatever else. I'm not seeing anything drip, so I think I'm good. So you can see there now that that has not, there's no oil coming back into that, right? So it's up, it's in the engine in, in all the places it's supposed to be. And the cool thing about that is, what we've actually filled into the engine already is only 2.7 liters or so. So I know that there's still oil off the guidebook's recommendation to go back in. So now you just add slowly to get your oil level back to where it should be. So you can see, well you probably can't see, but we're a hair off full now. So I'll just let it settle again for a few seconds. The thing about it is, you can always add more oil. It's very hard to take out oil once you've added it. So just go slowly, take your time and add it piece by piece. And we're good. So the cool thing about that is, the manual guide is, for this model year, is 3.5 liters. And when I look, I have used about 3.4 liters. So there was probably a little bit more oil left in there that I could have drained out. But it just goes to show you, the guide, the guide is pretty correct. So honestly, that's how easy it is to do the oil change on the CBF. It's, it's not really fiddly. Um, I do have the lower fairings. I'm gonna put them back on now and I'll show you where the bolts were, uh, where you have to take them out from. But it's really not that fiddly a job. It doesn't take very long. It's actually, it's quite straightforward and easy. And anyone can do it, that's the thing. Once you take your time, you have a bit of level ground, anyone can do this, and you'll save yourself a fortune if you do, so consider it. Another tip uh, is you don't actually have to break the lower fairing apart to get it out. 
What I do is I just very gently bend it and kind of work it in around the front because uh, my one came with these little plastic plugs that are really prone to breaking so I didn't want to touch them. So I just kind of held the center firm so that, you know, because those pieces are obviously the weak spot so I just bent it around and got it up. Other than that, there's only three bolts, three bolt locations on this. There's one here, which ties onto this upper fairing. There's one here, uh, which goes onto this mount here, this uh, mount there, that piece there. And then there's one just down here. So I'm gonna throw that on now. So anyway, as I said, it's easy enough once this is in position. Uh, you just wanna make sure it, it fits in under this upper fairing, which is important because they're kind of it's kind of integral to fit up under there, otherwise it'd look wrong. And all I would say is when you're putting these in, don't, don't tighten anything up fully um, until you kind of have everything in place. Because it, there can be a bit of fine tuning needed. The most annoying one to locate, and this is why I said leave everything loose, is this one here. Um, I kind of just get it in by feel, to be honest. Uh, the, this might not be the best one to leave to last, but it's the way I've I've taken these off a couple of times and it's the way I've done it every time, so tell me if there's an easier way. And there you go, good solid fairings. Now, the one thing I would say is make sure you tighten everything up. And with these fairing bolts, they have an awful habit of coming loose because they're all kind of bolted onto parts that shake. So I like to give them a good pinch down and then, you know, after the first spin or two, check them because even when I checked this one, uh, it was loose after the last time I had it off. And that's it. So there's actually not a huge pile to uh, change in the oil on one of these Honda CBF uh, 1000s. It is a pretty straightforward job, all things considered. One thing to bear in mind is, you know, make sure you have your oil, make sure you have your right filter. So for this particular model, it's a HF204 high flow. And uh, that's what you're looking for. And what I do when I look for oil is I like Motul. I use Motul in all my bikes. No particular reason other than I like that pore cap. Um, so I go onto the Motul website and I look up uh, the bike model and then I look at which one they recommend and I buy that because they're the people who make the oil. So it kind of eliminates any argument that you can have in the future. Um, but quite simple, you know, you take out your bolt, which is a 17 millimeter bolt. You take out your oil filter, which is held in, in place by two 8 mil bolts. Um, and then you unscrew your oil filter. Uh, put those two back in. Don't forget your new copper washer. Uh, your new copper crush washer and then fill your oil start the bike let it heat up for two to three minutes blip it once or twice if you want turn it off let the oil settle top up your oil it, it's really really straightforward um, and if you do have the model with the lower fairing it's only six bolts in total and you don't need to split it um, just be careful as you take it in around the radiator particularly be careful not to scratch your radiator obviously that's very important um, but all in all, it's actually it's quite a straightforward job. So, you know, would I say try do it yourself? Absolutely, it'll save yourself loads of money. So if you have watched, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, uh, please let me know in the comments. Obviously, I assume you have a CBF 1000, so uh, we have great bikes. You have good taste. And yeah, um, until next time, thank you very much for watching. A very special thank you to my patrons as always. Um, honestly, the channel probably wouldn't be here without them at this point. So I, I, yeah, I, I thank you. That's all I can say. And if, there's, if you do own a CBF 1000 and you'd like me to, to see me do anything else to it, uh, please let me know in the comments. If you, you didn't like the video, please let me know in the comments. Basically, just let me know what you thought in the comments. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, until next time, thank you again. Adios. Outro crew, if you're still here and you don't own a CBF 1000, why are you still here? And would you own a CBF 1000? Are you here because you want to own a CBF 1000? Um, one thing I will shout out is <laughs> when I had everything open and when I was doing these heated grips, uh, go watch that video if you have any interest. Um, yeah, the spark plugs don't look like they're going to be fun, so that'll be, that'll be interesting. <laughs> anyway, bye.